they were just working. Well, with. yeah, Lou was like the gateway to, I mean, not just even my first clients, but also um, me being able to do this at all. You know what I mean? If, if I, I didn't go to Lou and he didn't even open his mind up to see the kind of potential I could have yeah. and then extend himself to one of his friends to try to get me a camera to work with, you know what I mean? There'd be no, probably wouldn't be no caravan film crews right now. Or there'd be like another crazy way that yeah. I'd have to do it in order to get there. But yeah, Lou was, Lou was the dude. That, and so Tony Dorsey was my first client, but it was really a loose client, but it was the first paid gig that I worked with him on, you know? Yeah. So when you actually got, you got the money for that gig, you were, you were all in after that. Yeah. Well, you know, if I can get a gig without a camera, <laughs> without any previous work, you know what I mean? It's easy. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's all uh, downhill from here. Was there any, I guess in the meantime, was there anything like you were kind of like, I guess in terms of the career path, did you see yourself possibly going another way? Um, I, I, I don't have any, um, so filmmaking and photography as a trade is my passion, right? And I, and, and it's not the only thing I'm passionate about, but it's my yeah. thing, you know what I mean? So I... I kind of went 100% into that when I decided that that was going to be it. And I didn't have any, not that I didn't want to do anything else, but I really, I was tunnel vision, you know what I mean? I just wanted to get a good grip on this before I did anything else. And, um, but I mean, I, I want to do um, real estate, uh, cryptocurrencies, like we yeah. always talk about and all that. Um, there's a ton of businesses I'd like to open. I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. So, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff I want to do, but I'll never stop doing film and photography. At least I don't think anyway, right now, never stop. Yeah, I mean, shit, how long has it been now? Mm. And then you coming so far, like, I mean, shit, when, when, when did we first meet? Like 2010? Man. Yeah, was it 2010? Maybe it was 11. And it wasn't like it was 11. Photograph now, it was probably you know, like probably around like two years, two or three years before you, you picked it up like the way you did. And yeah. Really yeah. It's It was like a, yeah, two, three year period. And then yeah. boom, I was there. I was in there, you know. All right, all right. When you started, what kind of equipment like did you have? Oh man. Okay. So the first camera that I used was a D3100, which is like, not knocking anybody who's shooting with a D3100. I used to shoot with that, mm -hmm. but it's like a very entry level, you know, prosumer, actually consumer camera, you know? Yeah. Um, I think, I don't know, maybe it shot like 18 megapixels or something like that, but it did 24 frames per second at 1080. And, and that's all we needed at the time. Yeah. I just needed a camera that could do that. I did not know how to shoot manual shot everything in auto. So sometimes the exposure would get all wonky. Yeah. Um, I didn't know there was autofocus at the time. There's a difference between autofocus and, you know what I mean, manual focus. And so sometimes they would be out of focus a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, in the edit, I, I would shoot a ton of footage. And then in the edit, I would just pick the best stuff and line it up. So, you know, um, I could hide my, uh, yeah my novice, you know, camera operating skills pretty well. Yeah, I mean, in any case, as long as the frame is there. Yeah, as long as it's composed no pretty what good. Camera, no matter what camera it is, yeah. if it's in position, you know, you can make it work. You know? And look, you know, it, um, so I went from that to a D, um, I had a D3200 for a little bit, but I borrowed it from somebody else. And then I got a D7000, mm -hmm. which, is, which is like, considerably better in terms of image quality, but it was still a crop sensor. Then I got a 7D um, Canon. And so, you know, I've had Nikon, Canon, Panasonic, which we're filming on right now, which I film the majority of my video stuff on. And, um, you know, I got a Sony a7R2 now um, that I do most of my photography with. It's yeah. full frame, 42 megapixels and whatnot. But um, no matter what though, no matter what you got, there is, you know, a way for you to use it to make some money. 
so that you can improve and get more gear and get better gear and whatnot.